Welcome back. Well, quarantine with the family may mean cabin fever could happen. Nicole Jones learns more about dealing with those feelings. Hey, Nicole. Hey, good morning. Well, we are in some difficult times, and I have the perfect person that can help me with some of the issues that you may be having. Joining me now is licensed counselor Ekam Essien. Thank you so much for joining us again. So good to see you. It's good to see you, too. Thanks for having me again. So I'm going to jump right into the questions. Well, first of all, how's your family? Is everybody okay? Yeah, we're well. Um, you know, just getting used to staying at home most of the time like everyone else. Right. Okay. Well, with that being said, I'm going to I'm going to ask you about a common problem that people are having, but it's become maybe taboo a little bit. You know, it's kind of like a sense of cabin fever. You of course we love our family. So what would you what advice would you give maybe families uh, with or without children w with or without children that may be getting tired of each other? Well, um, th that's interesting just because a lot of times we complain that we're not getting enough time with each other. And then we experience something like this pandemic. And of course, you know, people are experiencing fear and anxiety, loss, even depression. But um, you have a lot more time to spend with your families, uh, your loved ones. And I imagine that, you know, initially this seems like a great thing. You know, finally, I get the time to spend with my kids, spend with my wife or my husband or whomever. And then for some or over time, it just becomes dreadful. So, um, you know, you get increased stress. You're playing the daycare. You're the teacher. You're the playmate, companion, lover, you know, so on and so forth and um, other roles. And so now people begin to be stressed and you kind of miss that time that you were sitting in traffic, the commute to work um, that we complain about most of the time. Um, so with a lot of my clients, what I've been seeing is almost an exacerbation of some of these problems. So children are getting anxious, they're getting, you know, restless, and there's increased arguments in the home. Right. You know, couples, they're getting tired of looking at each other. I'm sure you, you all have read articles, you know, where, you know, even the way you chew is getting on my nerves. And so that initial time that we're spending together is almost a bad thing now, you know, in some instances. You know, and in I, some cases, I'm going to interrupt you. I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but, you know, it seemed like it can be a good thing or a bad thing. Either, you know, you're going to hate each other or, you know, I was thinking it would be a baby boom simply. Right? Right, right. Unless you're a couple that has issues in the bedroom, you know, so people with sexual issues, now that you're face to face with each other and spending a lot more time with each other, that problem is going to be amplified, you wow. know, and so now we may actually have to face that, which can also lead to more anxiety, frustration, anger, arguments, things like that. Um, and so that, what I'm seeing is almost an exacerbation of problems that already existed and oh. so now it's just becoming a little more amplified mm. with people so what do we do you know it's of course you can't really go anywhere you can go for a walk you know but as far as going like people that like to go out to the bar or whatever they may do to get away how do we handle these issues how do we get to i guess we would have to get to the root of the pre-existing issue to handle what's going on now so what do we do well um there are Quite a few things and i'm sure we've heard the usual get exercise um you know indulge in some of those activities that you had planned on doing but that may not be enough and so sometimes maybe even just finding a, a even if it's a small space just to be alone gather your thoughts and really take a moment uh throughout the day schedule it even to take time with yourself and process through your emotions understand why you're feeling the way you're feeling, what's leading to that. Are you really tired of this person or is it that I just want to go get my nails done or, you know, I, I want to go out and play poker with the fellas, you know, what, what's really driving that uh, anxiety and that frustration that you're experiencing? Well, thank you so much. We're running out of time. I hate it that we're running out of time. I could have this conversation with you all day. Tell everyone where can we follow you? Uh, you can follow me. Uh, my webpage is www.veritycounseling.com. And I'm also on LinkedIn, e.essien, E-S-S-I-E-N. And so, 
another thing is if you need a counselor, there are many of us who are doing counseling online. And so you can also reach out and get some help, hopefully decrease some of that conflict in the home. Perfect. Well, if you missed that information, we'll have it on our website and our Facebook page. Thank you so much for checking in with us. Anytime. Thanks for having me again.